Hey friends, welcome into Cross My Heart Ministry and welcome to Martha Monday. If you're a regular subscriber, you know that on Mondays I usually get in the kitchen, often that is, and share a recipe. Might be around the house offering an organizational tip, but I do have a recipe for you today and you probably see, well, where's all your ingredients? We normally see you with all the things out. Well, I'm sharing a video that I actually recorded last summer with my grand girls, my two oldest grandchildren, Kevin and I were at the beach with them, and I wanted to make salmon, and it's my son Kyle's recipe. The little grand girls, Julia, Grace, and Charlotte, call it Dad's Famous Fish, and they love it. So if you've ever walked past that fresh salmon in the grocery store, and you've thought, I'd love to make salmon. It's so delicious when I get it when I'm out, and I just don't know how to prepare it. You're going to love this recipe. It's so easy and so very delicious. So I'm sharing it today for our April do a list because I think it would be a great idea for you to make for Mother's Day or Father's Day. We always want to honor our parents and sometimes going out to a restaurant on those days is challenging because everybody wants to take mom and dad out on Mother's Day or Father's Day. I hope this might be a recipe that you want to give a try, maybe for Mother's Day, maybe for Father's Day, or maybe just for your family. But go ahead and lean in and watch us make Dad's Famous Fish. There's a couple of funny things because I'm cooking with a couple of little girls. And you'll particularly want to take note of Charlie, what she's doing when I'm not watching as she's licking all that lemon juice off her hand. I just had to crack up when I watched the video later. But if you want to give it a try, we will have the recipe, the link for you to download your own copy in the notes below. Thanks for spending part of your day with us. Thanks for watching Martha Monday. And I also hope you'll come back on Friday as we bring you a video from the Word of God, unpacking some truth from there because you know, Cross My Heart exists to encourage women to love God and to love His Word. Thanks for spending part of your day with us. For Cross My Heart Ministry, I'm Laura McFarland. Martha Monday. I've got my two helpers here today with me. My two, two of my three precious granddaughters, the two oldest. And we are had a little mini vacation before. What happens, Julia Grace? You start back to school. Yeah. And what grade will you be in? Third. Third grade. And we got a big preschooler here. And so we decided to grab a couple days away at the beach before that all happened. Of course, you're seeing this much later. But as we recorded, it's in August, and we are having a grand time with the granddaughters. And so, Charlie's my assistant. What was your first job, Charlie? What did you have to do with the little clicker? Press it. Press the button to start the video. So now you can move that all the way over there. We don't want to get any clickers into our recipe. And what are we making today? Charlie, what is the name of this recipe? What are we making? Yeah. Famous fish. Yes, famous fish. And how did it how did it get to be named that? Do you remember? Yep. The first time our dad made this, we really liked it. And the next time I next time I asked for it, I asked for Dad's famous fish. And there you go, the rest is history. And then when the grandparents came and we enjoyed it, we loved it as well. It's a great recipe. If you've always been intimidated by fresh fish, you never quite knew how to prepare it. This is easy peasy, goes together so quickly. It's a great beach recipe. Now we're making a couple little modifications. You can find the recipe below in the show notes and that is the actual recipe, but I forgot a couple of things in shopping for all of us at the grocery store and making my list. I left out the fresh parsley and I wasn't sure if they had a garlic press here at the little Airbnb we're renting. So I'm just substituting this sort of garlic in the jar, which you can do that as well to be just fine. So the first thing that we do is get our baking pan. Now, if I were doing this at home, I would have a much larger pan and I would also spread it with parchment paper. But for our purposes here, we're just gonna spray this. And why do we need to spray the dish with the cookie spray, Charlie? So it doesn't stick. Nobody likes their fish to be stuck to the bottom. Nope, And no. so we're starting off yeah, there'll be it'll be stuck to the pan and you want to eat every bite, right? So oh, yeah. and these girls love Dad's famous mm. fish, both of them, don't you? You love the fish. Yeah. We love the fish. Mm. So here's our beautiful 
Be it is your favorite meal. Yeah, I think you've even asked for it for like birthdays. So this is our lovely fresh salmon filet. You can also substitute steelhead trout to make it a little more economical if you like, but we're just sort of squeeze this into this pan. It's sort of folded over here. Um, I'm wondering, I think maybe I'm gonna have to, I hate to do it, but I think I'm gonna cut this filet right here if I can. I don't know if my knife is quite sharp enough, but we are doing the abridged version. Again, this is the beach version of Dad's Famous Fish. I don't have a knife as sharp as, might not do a good job at cutting through that skin, but I'm gonna see what I can do. We're doing all this uh, in yeah, real time. My yes. favorite the scales. The scales, why do you like the scales? I don't know. You know, they're just kind of funny looking. The scales are really hard to, to, um, to cut through. So I'm gonna put that here. Got it pulled apart, I think. I just wanted to sort of fit into the pan. I got a few little scales on the top there, but we are going to just sort of break those. Really slimy and fishy. I, yes, my hands are slimy and fishy. Thank you very much. So let me squeeze that around. We're getting it all in there. I'm going to just rinse my hands off because Charlie says they are slimy and fishy. Rinse those off. And now. Let's go ahead. The next thing you do is you put on the butter. What are we supposed to do with the butter? Melt it. Melt no. it. So we have four tablespoons of butter. We went ahead and melted that in the refrigerator. Charlie, I am going to get a little spoon out here. Melt it in the refrigerator? Oh, and the refrigerator. Okay. Excuse me. We melted it in the microwave oven. I'm a little distracted and I need all the help I can get. So. I'd like to say that that was a test to see if anybody would catch me. Let's go with that, okay? Yeah. Grammy was just testing to see if anybody was listening. Charlie, can you reach around and put that in the trash can at the end of the counter? Right there beside you, okay? And there's another little piece. Okay, and again, if I were making this at home, hands are a little wet, so I'm having a hard time opening that. If I were making this at home, I would use fresh garlic and I would mince that. It takes 10 cloves, a lot of garlic in this recipe. But because I'm doing it at the beach and just going with it, I bought the garlic in the jar, and that also works if you just want to keep that on hand. If garlic isn't something you use very often, but mmm, such a pungent smell. Pasta? Yes. Oh. What does it smell like? Dad's. It smells like Dad's famous fish. Of course it does. I think the smell and what it tastes like kind of sinks into the fish because I definitely taste that in his fish. Sometimes. Yes, yes. Well, garlic is just such a savory, pungent flavor mm -hmm. and smell. So I'm going to go, I think one of these is a clove. I'm just going to, you want to help me count? One, two, two three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, it takes a whole head of garlic. That's a lot of garlic, but it's a great big old fish head too. I mean, big old fish fillet. Yeah. So, so we've got the butter already melted. You can do that on top of the stove. We just did it in the microwave here. I'm gonna mix this all in together, the butter and the garlic. Does that look mixed to you? Yeah. Look mixed to you? Yep. Yeah. Okay, now what do we do with this? Pour it all over the fish. That's right. We're gonna just sort of spread this out all over our fish. It's gonna give it such a delicious flavor. Now fish is one of the healthiest things that we can eat. So good for us. The butter probably makes it not quite so healthy, but hey, you're spreading that butter out over the entire serving for the whole family. So even then, not that bad for us. So it just gives it such good flavor. I'm just gonna sort of saturate this, make sure every part of that filet is covered with all this delicious goodness. Down to the last drop. Here we go. And now, what if we were making this at home? And if Grammy, even traveling and making it at the beach, had remembered everything when she stopped at the grocery store, because we're not, uh, we're in kind of a remote beach where they don't have a grocery store close by, except just a little sort of local place. So we had to shop about 30 minutes away to pick up all of our groceries and made my list, checked it twice, but... What did I forget that should go on next? Parsley. Fresh parsley. 
And so if there were spices here at the condo, if I saw some fresh parsley, I might just sprinkle that on top. Didn't see any of that on the shelf as well. But if you had a, a bunch of fresh parsley, I would wash that, chop it up, spread that all across the entire top of the salmon. And it would just, it would look so aesthetically pleasing. It would look pretty to have all that green parsley also add some flavor. But again, this is the beach version, right? Yeah. We're calling this the beach version. The next thing we're gonna do, we have our lemons ready. These were cold out of the fridge. I wish I'd kind of left them out a little bit. Oh, I forgot to put the salt on. Okay, folks, we are absolutely messed up here because I forgot to put the salt on. Salt should have gone on before the um, garlic. Before and the butter. garlic. I wonder. Well, that's okay. We can try it anyway. Yes. I wonder if we can just do this. Take this off. Oh, I can't believe I messed this up. You know what, guys? This is a, it's, it's okay. It's the beach version. <laughs> it's the beach version. We're just gonna try to get all of the, the butter off. It's gotten cold on the Gonna sprinkle on the kosher salt. Um, yes. Here. I usually do it. Okay. Here, here. Put, put your, Daddy, you usually put your hand over here so I can put some salt in your hand. Okay. Now you do it, and you want to do some too. Okay. Sprinkle that on a little bit. Okay. All right. Doing it all in real time and having a good time. So we may do another version of this the real way, but for right now. Okay. Put that on putting the butter on the next time on top of the salt that's on top of it. Just kind of playing around here and having a good time. Oh, yeah. Put it on while, just while you spread it. Okay, I will spread it, okay. And get it all out. Just spread it all out on top there, Charlie. It's gotten a little congealed, the butter was melted, and it kind of congealed on top of the cold fish that had been in the refrigerator. And then when I scraped it off, it, uh, became, crumbly. it became a little more of a solid versus a liquid. But we're going to go with it. It's going to be just okay. Can you give me it's another It's different spoon because it's before? the beach version. So. That's right. The beach version. The best one. There we go. One of those is fine. This one. All right. Thank you. Hi. Okay, here. Just let me sort of get the butter spread out. You tell me if you see any places that needs to have a little more butter. Okay, Charlie or Julia Grace, I'm so glad that you remembered the salts because that's such an important ingredient. Salt always adds such delicious flavor. And if we had got sat down to eat this and it did not have salt, I think we would have all noticed and we would have been very, very disappointed. So you saved the day by reminding me that we did not put the salt on here, so. Thanks. Yeah, so uh, no other no other spices, just that little bit of salt, and it makes it yummy. And, of course, the parsley, the green parsley that should be here and is not. But we did not forget the salt. Got that on there in the nick of time. So, okay, so all of our congealed butter is back on top. And next is, now we're back to the lemons. So we're going to get this knife out that's covered to keep safe. And we're just gonna cover the top of this with very thin lemon slices. Now I'll wash these in advance. So they're washed and ready to go. Just cut thin slices. And uh, the lemon smell with... like lemonade. Mm -hmm. Can I see the smell? Yes. Delicious, delicious. Okay, here. You take some and you take some. We're just gonna spread those all the way across the top of the fish, right? It looks so pretty. And again, if we had the parsley on there. Yeah, I said, can't get this off. Oh, I guess I didn't have to get that cut all the way. The, the yeah, yellow lemon, just pull real hard. The yellow lemon with the green parsley just adds such a nice, pretty contrast. It just looks like a beautiful summer meal that you're happy to sit on top of your table. And it's just as delicious as it is pretty. Okay, you get those two, put them on. Okay, and then I'm gonna slice some more after your hands are out of the way. Always wanna be careful when there's a knife, especially when there are grandchildren around. So the lemon does, when it bakes, adds just such a nice flavor. 
that just sort of gives it that gourmet sort of flair to a regular old fish dinner you would make at home. So yeah. let me get all these cut apart I, this time. I want to have some. You want to have some of this fish? It's dad's yeah. famous fish that y'all just seem to love. Okay, get, get your slices and put those on top. I think we're going to need a couple more lemons. We'll just keep cutting because you want to have the have everything completely covered. Now this bakes up quickly. It's a meal that goes together quickly and it also bakes quickly. This one didn't uh, Yeah, just leave it out. Mm -hmm. uh, we are have the oven preheating. Do you remember the temperature? Yep, 425 degrees. 425 degrees. We've already got the oven preheating. So as soon as we have our lemons on top here, we're gonna pop that in the oven. It bakes quickly. It's only going to be in there about 15 to 18 minutes. If you have a meat thermometer, the fish should be cooked to a degree of 145 and then it's ready to go. So while it's baking, we're not going to have a lot of time if it's only 15 minutes, but we're going to finish our rice and we're going to do some vegetables. So it's an easy peasy meal and a delicious summer meal and we are going to eat up. The girls were very excited when they heard that Grammy stopped and bought salmon to make dad's famous fish. And I think dad was kind of happy that he just gets to enjoy it this time instead of being the one that makes it. So even with our little mishaps, we're gonna trust that the beach version will be almost as yummy as the regular at home version. And the only thing that is really going to be lacking is that parsley, but I think it's going to be just fine. Okay. What's that? Oh, okay. Well, let's just let him know that. Julia Grace says that she usually chases, uh, scrapes off the parsley anyway. So this particular meal is going to be much more to her liking anyway. I'm going to go ahead and cut up one more. Actually, I had one spot, so this one, yes. You're hungry? Well, honey, you are just in time to be hungry because guess what? We are close to being ready. So here we go. I think we're gonna pop this in the oven. This is Dad's Famous Fish, the beach version. And we hope it tastes just almost as good. You know, we're gonna do it again with the parsley and they reshoot this video later to let you see. Your hand is sour? Why is your hand sour? Yeah, when you hold on the lemons and you lick your hand, it has a very sour taste. But if it must not be too sour because you're, you're licking away. Maybe you need to dip one hand in sugar and then lick some lemon and lick some sugar and it'll sort of be like lemonade hands. Yeah. Or dip your hand in sugar and then squeeze lemon juice on it. Okay, a little silliness going on here at the beach, but we're gonna get our chick our chicken. We're gonna get our salmon in the oven to enjoy Dad's famous fish for dinner. We hope wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you are enjoying the beauty of this creation that God has given to us. We are celebrating that at the beach. We're learning about things. Poppy taught Joe Grace this morning about a coquina shell. He grew up in Florida and they found a little animal and we ended up coming back and watching a video about that. But the bigger thing is just looking at all the animals, all the wildlife, just the vastness of the ocean, and thinking about how huge and massive it is that the great God that we serve is the genius who not only thought of the ocean, but had the power to speak it into, an ex into existence. He is so good to us. We love him so much. And we hope that wherever you are, whatever you're doing, you are loving God and loving his word and encouraging those in your world to do the same. For Crossmark Ministry and with my grand, two of my three grand girls, Julia Grace and Charlotte, I'm Laura McFarlane. Hope you're having a blessed time at your house, whatever you're doing. And that next time you shop at the grocery store, you don't forget any important ingredients. So we're going to enjoy our fish and we wish blessings to you and your family, whatever you're having for dinner. Okay, Charlie, can you wave goodbye? Bye. <laughs> Here we go.